What's up, world? Now, I told y'all that I would check back in just to see how y'all doing. You know, I like to give y'all inspirational speech, a little bit of pep talk, or a little something to just to bring you up because motherfuckers is feeling down. You know, we got earthquakes, we got hurricanes. Well, I don't, but on the East Coast back home, they do. And people are going through some stuff, relationship problems, political problems. They're going through personal problems. And every once in a while, you need somebody to step up and just feed it to you real. So that's what I'm here to do. Now, at the beginning of the year, I had a video that was talking about success in 2011. You know what I'm saying? I had a couple of goals. I said, yo, I want to get a million subscribers by the end of the year. Well, guess what? I hit that goal. A lot of my goals that I set at the beginning of the year, I already did because I've been grinding. A lot of motherfuckers don't want to grind. Everybody talk about, yo, this is what I want to do in life, but they don't set goals. The biggest problem, this is the biggest problem. The biggest problem is people just don't fucking listen. You got a GPS giving you exact directions how to get somewhere, and you don't take that advice, then you a new fool. You sitting up there like, well, I'm gonna find my own way. I know they said I got to go straight down that road right there, but I'm gonna make this left and going around here. To get 100 meters is going from A to B, straight down the fucking track, right? Why the hell are you gonna go off the curb or off into the grass? It don't matter how, what speed you take to get to the end, to the finish line, as long as you get there, just follow the right formula. If you know, in order to be a doctor, in order to be a lawyer, in order to be a great professor, that you have to do a certain amount of schooling, why are you not starting to go to school? Well, I, well, I don't know, I can't, I can't afford school. Get a fucking job. There's grants out there. You gotta do what you gotta do in order to meet your goal. How is somebody else gonna see your dream? Oh my God, wait, what is this, Inception? Nobody else can see your dreams but you. Think about the most amazing thing that you wanna do. I don't care if it's just way without, out of your reach or your thought. At the end of the day, if you fail, what's the worst that's gonna happen? You're gonna be right back where the fuck you are right now. You got everything to gain and nothing to lose, but we all scared. It's a lot of bitter, angry motherfuckers. Especially old folks are just angry. Fuck those boys out there making all that money because it's that. Don't hate on somebody else because they found success because your ass didn't want to take the initiative, go out there and get it. Now granted, some people are given an easier road than others. So what? That means if you ever come and find some success and you come out of the trenches, if you ever fall back into the trenches, you'll be like, huh, I've been here before, this is nothing. What the fuck? Bring it. Rats, roaches, homelessness, I don't give a fuck. Bring it. Work in the trenches. Because it gives you character. How to be successful on YouTube. Everybody's like, yo, I need some tips. What do you do? How do you blow up? My black people, they're like, they storm you the number one black YouTuber in the world. Mainstream artists call me. YouTubers call me up. Labels call me up. Yo, what did you do? How did you do it? Ah, it's blowing my mind. What did you do? I worked hard as fuck. Everybody who followed my YouTube career know it. I'm not afraid to tell nobody how to be successful on YouTube. You know, granted, there are some folks out there who's like, I'm not going to give out the secret. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, I'm not telling no one what's going on. I don't give a fuck. I want everybody to find some success because the more people that find success on YouTube, the more people that join YouTube, which will continue my success. So I don't have a problem telling you, you can be successful on this platform and it will get you a lot of opportunities to, to meet others, to travel, to find friendships, to bond, to, to, to just love yourself and your content and be more confident in things that you love to do. Like anything else in life, this is very fucking hard. If you think about how many top strand actors it is, how many A-list actors it is, even if you put A-listers and B-listers together, it'll be a very small bunch. YouTube's the same way. It's a very small bunch of very successful YouTubers. It's a very small bunch of very successful athletes. It's a very small bunch of very successful doctors. It's an even smaller bunch of astronauts. Like a few. Motherfuckers will just get to go to space. Everybody ain't going to space. Give me your motherfucking suit, dog. I'm going with you. You ain't going, motherfucker. You don't know nothing about that. So to be the elite in any form, in anything, you have to work, bust your fucking balls to do it. You have to find a way to bring you to the tube. It's fucking cliche, but it's true. Like That's why it's fucking called YouTube. It's you. You got to bring you. You gotta bring your personality to YouTube so people will be like, I like that person. If you think about everybody that you subscribe to that you continue to watch, why do you continue to watch them? Because you fucking like that person. So come with something that brings you with original content and you have to be consistent because it's so many good people who don't have a good camera these days. You get a fucking flip. You get a flip cameras in HD. 
You can shoot in 720. If it allows you to do it, why the fuck aren't you doing it? YouTube gives you the option to shoot 3D if you want. So why are you not at least uploading to HD? Your competition is. So you need to do the same thing. I remember when I, was, I first started out on YouTube and I was like, oh my God. I can't be a personal trainer and do these YouTube videos. It takes too much time to edit. You just can't do it. So what I had to do was I had to quit my job. I was in the house. I was eating fucking ramen noodles like I was back in college. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to grind it out and, and, and believe in this because I believe that I can do it. And then I just continued to grow until I was able to make a living doing what I love to do, which was make videos and continue to bring content to the people. Do you know? Literally about 95% of the people give up. It's not just with YouTube, it's with whatever you're trying to do in life. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're trying to fucking lose weight. I've been a fitness professional for seven years. And the biggest problem I find with people who are trying to lose weight is they go balls in. I'm going to just do this crash diet and I'm going to do it. The next thing you know, you're riding down the street and then somebody got a Papa John's pizza and you fucking attack them. Don't take their pizza. Leave the pizza. Let the pizza go. Let the pizza go. You can't be taking people's food. You know why? Because your body needs certain things. You can't just, bend. it's like drugs. You know what I'm saying? You have to slowly wean yourself off that shit. Food is like, food is a drug. If you can't run a mile, run 100 yards. It's more than you did yesterday. Then run 200. Then run a quarter mile. Run a half a mile. And I guarantee in about a month, you're going to be addicted to it. You're going to be running miles and stuff. You're going to be skinny. Then the most expensive thing you're going to have to pay for is a fucking new wardrobe. How amazing is that? Holla at your boy. A lot of people have a lot, a, a very tight-knit community on Facebook. Some people are a little embarrassed about the YouTube thing, so they're like, um, I, I kind of don't want to share it with all of my people on Facebook. Why, how the fuck are you going to be a YouTuber? You putting yourself in front of the camera, you got the camera on record, and you recording videos for just the YouTube community. You go to your fucking Facebook, go to your cousin Bobo and say, yo, dog, watch my video and share it with your girlfriends. He probably got two, he's ain't Bobo. I don't know if I want to use my Facebook because I went to school with them people. They're going to see me acting a fool on YouTube. Then you don't want to grow. Because when you grow, everybody going to see you. Your family, your friends, everybody. I remember one time this guy was like, yo, I'm trying to be a YouTuber, man. What I got to do? I said, dog, um, why don't you just tweet me? Because it's hard for me to reach you via YouTube and stuff like that. Twitter. I ain't fucking with no Twitter. How you gonna be mad at a social platform and you wanna be a social media giant? Just like people subscribe to you, they follow you because they enjoy what you talk about and they enjoy who you are. I say I'm subscribed to 20 motherfuckers and I haven't been on my YouTube in a while because people don't just hang out on YouTube like they do Facebook. So if you drop your video on Monday and I decide I wanna log in on Wednesday, by the time your video comes up, it's going to be way down in the post and all I'm going to see is the seven latest videos that just been posted. I missed your latest video. Why do I need a Twitter for? I don't need to be telling nobody what I'm eating every hour of the day. But if I was following your ass on Twitter, you could be like, did you miss my latest video? Oh, that's my homie. Yeah, I missed your latest video. Is that the link to it? Oh, shit. Boom. Oh, shit. I just saw your latest video. Thousands of more views and you continue to grow. And if I like your shit, which I probably won't. No, nah, I'm just playing. If I like your shit, I'm going to take that video and I'm going to retweet it and then share it with all of my motherfuckers. And then all of my motherfuckers, if they like it, they're going to take it and retweet it with all of their motherfuckers. There's so many people who've just been watching your video like, who's this new guy? Oh, he's from YouTube. Boom, subscribe. You just got to sell some new subscribers.